What's up, everybody? This is not a police encounters video. A question came across to me via email, and it regards to dealing with certain matters in, in state court. And one of the reasons why I stated traffic court is a fiction. If you remember that from, I believe it was episode five. But anyway, I'm going to give you one of those great things. When you're speaking about a traffic infraction, there are several components that go along with it. You also hear officers state, well, when you got a driver's license, you, you waived your rights for certain things. Now, again, that's a partial truth. Understanding what the driver's license is, we're going to get into that later. The quick part of it is when you did receive a driver's license, one, that's the state's competency test. You are stating that you are competent. So therefore, they can hold you liable during your actions or whatever. Now, the second part of that is the fact that they assume every time you're behind the wheel, because you, I'm going to go into the meaning of the word driver and even vehicle. Because when you talk about driver and vehicle, those are commercial words. Those are commercial entities. Those are the words that are used when you're talking about a driver's license. A license is permission to do something or permission to participate. So every time you get into your vehicle, it is deemed that you are participating in a privilege. Now, what sets that off is, let's say you're going to the store and not necessarily you're not doing anything but you run a stop sign or or like here again one of my favorite things is a california stop or a rolling stop as they're often called they write you a citation you don't know any better you go to court and you see the state of whatever versus you here's why it's not real a corporation which is the state of whatever when you walk into a courtroom you see a nice little seal on the wall that lets you know that is it is a business it is a for-profit business. Now, being a business or a corporation, it cannot give instructions. So here's where we're going to go real quick. Again, that's for later down the road. But today, the Supreme Court case I want to give you is, is Worth v. Selden, 422 U.S. 490 499-1975. The plaintiff generally must assert his own legal rights and interests and cannot rest his claim on the legal rights or interests of third parties. Here's where it becomes interesting because the state itself is a third party to the citation. So offering up an opportunity for a dismissal is one of the first things that you can do in showing or illustrating that the traffic court is a fiction if you're not participating in a privilege nothing in that book or set of regulations or rules apply to you and that's the understanding of understanding what law is what criminal activity is and what privileges are if you're not participating in a privilege and you are not involved in commercial activity you haven't committed a crime there's no reason for the officer to be there because again I've said it before I'll say it a hundred million times. If there's no crime, there is no reason for them to talk to you. So keep that in mind. Worth v. Selden, 422 U.S. 490-499-1975. Only a human being can assert human rights. A state cannot give you rights. They cannot take them away. The reason why they can't give you any is because they have none to give. The state is inanimate. So therefore, the state doesn't exist. Until next time.